My background has completely dried. I've removed my salt and now I'm going to paint the moon and we're going to do the same exact process with the moon that we did for the background. So of course I'm going to wet the area first. So I've got the area wet and I'm going to use my smaller brush to actually add the paint because I want the, um, I don't want to hold quite as much liquid on my brush, make these burst a little smaller. And I'm going to make one side a little darker. As you can see, it's going to be pretty dark on one side and that's really going to make it stand out next to that background. Trying to be as careful as I can with these lines. you can see I've got a little bit of color on my brush so I added a lot of water still had a little color on my brush and I'm just going to use that to kind of move these blobs around a little bit and try to create a bit of a moon look Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to add a little more darkness on this side because I want this one to be, to really stand out. And I'm also going to add just a tiny bit of salt to my moon. And I'm going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to come in with a paint pen or white gel pen, either one, what, whichever you prefer, and I'll start to add stars to my background. My background is finished, my moon is complete, and I really love the way it turns out. It turned out. It's amazing to me what adding a few white dots to a background can do. All of a sudden it looks like a starry night. So now we're ready to paint our bird. 